This segment brought to you by Domain.com. I'm sure that people are building these right now, um, as, as sad as that is. Um, but that's information cuts both ways. And so you say that this is one of the three major lock manufacturers. Have you looked at the other two lock manufacturers? I have not yet. Um, I have some plans in the information for the ne you know, next few years, but um, just don't have time. So. so until the vendor gets around to replacing the chips in every single one of these, how do I know, like, as a guest, if uh, my room has one of these locks? So if you're there, it's easy. They all look, uh, they all look basically the same. There's one, one variant that doesn't look like this, but the vast majority of them uh, are, are standard. You can look on the web and see dozens of pictures of them. Um, but you, know, you can look at it there, but it's not like you can call up the hotel and say, hey, do you have honesty locks on the doors? You know, they're gonna look at you funny. Um, so there's no real way to know unless you're there. Um, but if you're there, you can look and see. Nice. Okay, and uh, so I guess, you know, going forward, where can people find the slides? Where can people find the code and start hacking at this? I'm sure the open source community is already taking this to the next level. So everything is on my site, daken.com, D-A-E-K-E-N.com. Uh, there's a blog post there with the paper, slides, and code. Um, and that, as I said, it's been downloaded over 100,000 times at this point, and I just released it, you know, uh, about 24 hours ago. And so have you considered maybe making some modifications to the Arduino board so that maybe you'd have like an LCD display of numbers freaking out and lights blinking and maybe some pulsing sounds, you know, for, for the MI6 people? <laughs> you know, I, I think that somebody will probably do that and make it into a real James Bond gadget. Um, for me, just seeing the light go off on the door and seeing it open is enough. Yeah, that must have been an awesome feeling the first time you had that go off. You know, I, uh, when it happened, I called one of my business partners and I, I, was, I was like, Who's the man? Uh, you know, who, who's the man? And, and we, we were just freaking out because it actually worked. You know, it had been a hypothesis, and I'd been working on it for like six months part time, and we thought that it was there. And the moment that it hit, it was like, all right, this is real now. This is kind of cool. It's really scary, um, but it, it was, uh, it was definitely an exciting time. It, it was an endorphin rush, or was it just kind of anticlimactic because it just like, oh, the light turns green, like, like all the times of let's not turn green, and then boom. You know, the, it makes a very distinctive click when it when it opens. Um, and the first time I plugged it in, I'm like, oh, this isn't going to work. And then I hear the click. It's like, wow, this this works. That's awesome. Um, and then it hit me like, wow, this works. That's, that's kind of terrifying at the same time. So it's definitely a mixed feeling at that point. Um, but it's, you know, it's been on the market for 10 years. I can't imagine that I was the first person to hear that click off of a device. That is fantastic. I love a satisfying click. Thank you so much, Cody. I really appreciate you talking to us. If you're setting up a website or starting a new business, showcasing your portfolio or publishing your blog, Domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. If you need to register a new domain, consider getting a .com. A .com name is the original. We all know it's the best. It's globally understood and immediately gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. Plus, if you want to invest in and sell domains, .coms have the highest aftermarket value. Find new domains at Domain.com. Shannon and I love Domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's social networking presence is huge on Twitter, at Domain.com. They've got great customer support, and that makes it really a fun place to do business. So get this, the guys over at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code HAK5 at Domain.com checkout. That's 15% off and big savings. Don't forget to use the coupon code HAK5 when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Um, as always, head over to uh, hack5.org slash follow to find all the places that you can uh, see us on the social networks and whatnot. Especially stay tuned to uh, awesome cool stuff happening at Hack5 on Twitter and uh, you know plus Hack5 on Google Plus. Uh, good stuff in preparation for season 12. Especially if you're like Bay Area local, we've got some fun happenings. So stay tuned for that. Uh, HAKshop.com for all the hacker goodies that we're doing over there, supporting the show. Um, and uh, really appreciate your support. A lot of people came out 
at, uh, at DEF CON, at the booth, really supporting us, and I, I feel the love. It's, it's really good in that sense. So uh, yeah, hack5.org slash follow, hackshop.com, and um, I will see you guys next week for some DEF CON, and then, oh yes, season 12, rocking seven years! I'm really excited. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna get back to the whole evacuation thing. Thanks, Chevron. Oh, oh yeah, trust your technolust. Oh my god. It seriously looks like Point Richmond is just engulfed. And that's where my studio is. That's where Hack 5 is, celebrating seven year anniversary. Holy crap, it's like blacking out the sun. You can like see the sun coming through right there. It's insane.